A candelabra is something straight out of a haunted castle, so it's no wonder this one is showcasing some really creepy paranormal activity. YouTuber Mr. Devilish looks on as the light fixture starts to dance. Okay, that's kind of weird. This thing is moving. There's no fan on or anything. This thing's moving. Holy when he gets closer, the fixture becomes even more active. Holy This is like an old church. It's pretty crazy. And that's not all. Oh That's up. Something going on in here. Okay. If this was just the light fixture by itself, I think it could be explained. A rodent or animal of some kind could be mucking around in the ceiling, but combined with the curtain closing, I think it's more likely to be paranormal. Alright, I know that My Little Pony is not exactly the most frightening thing on earth, but pay less attention to the brand of the toy and more attention to what it's doing by itself without being touched. I guess the obvious explanation is that someone is underneath the table using a magnet, and a lot of people say the same thing. However, here's another video showing that there is no magnet on the bottom of the toy, so no one knows for certain. Fisherman's Chronicles gets a catch while kayaking in the San Francisco Bay, but you'll never guess what he's caught on camera, or rather, what's caught him. Oh my that's a fish on. That's a fish on. Oh my there's a big fish on. I got a big fish on. Oh, this is this is a halibut. It's for a shark keeper. He thinks he's hooked a halibut, but it's much worse than that. A stingray. Its whipping tail is like a serrated needle that will mess you up in seconds flat. He has to get the hook out of its mouth fast while avoiding the tail. Wow, look at got a good view of that. This guy's trying to sting me. Nothing new for him. He's caught hundreds of them before, but I guess everyone can make a mistake. The tail connects and a barbed wire feeling races up his arm. Now he has to get the hook out with the ray in his lap. And he's lucky it doesn't take a chunk out of his thigh here at 7 minutes and 17 seconds. They do have razor sharp teeth. He gets to a hospital as fast as he can and this is the end result. Well I had to row like half a mile back to the kayak uh, launch with a stingray tail like sticking out of my arm. It's healed up nicely since, and he doesn't have any nerve damage to speak of, but it's not something I would ever want to go through, and I hope he never does again. He's lucky it wasn't higher up and nicked an artery. Also, I just wanted to commend him for not getting angry at the stingray for defending itself. He focuses on getting the hook out of the stingray first before getting help for himself. Uh, I still want to release this guy as fast as possible. I think everyone's first instinct is to throw it back into the water, so this must have taken an incredible amount of self-restraint. Austin is nervous with anticipation over exploring the haunted Windsor Hotel in Georgia, a 24-hour paranormal investigation challenge that will leave all of them freaked out soon enough. A young person once fell down an elevator shaft in the early 1900s, and the place has been haunted ever since. Her ghost has been seen in hotel mirrors. Objects often move on their own. Austin isn't sure if he believes the paranormal rumors until weird things are caught on camera they've left running overnight. Keys and a wallet fall off the dresser while everyone is asleep. Both objects are planted securely on an even surface and have no reason to drop unless it was a ghost or a string. I don't see either so I'm not sure what to think about this video at this point, but things are creepy so far. One of them wakes up and goes over to investigate the bizarre occurrence. What's caught on camera next is downright strange. As they are picking up the wallet and keys, a lamp clicks off. The noise sounds exactly like the button on their lamp. You heard, listen. You can literally hear the flavor. From 
Something had to literally physically turn that off, bro. So there's no doubt that a lamp turns on, but the question or not is if it's the one that's in front of them. If there were four beds in this room, then I feel like there would be a second lamp behind them off camera. Maybe they were turning that one off to make the clicking noise. Still an overwhelming number of people agree this is paranormal. 682 to 15 as of the time of this video. And given the hotel's haunted history, I trust in what they saw and wouldn't be surprised if it was real. YouTubers Casadores de Sombras investigate the spirit of the old Macubero in this scary video. While exploring the spirit's lair, they are startled by an unexplained sound. Oh, oh! Yeah. Locked in the front. As they're investigating the matter, another noise is heard in the next room. Oh, aí, mano, aí, ó. Quebrou aqui o vidro, aqui, ó. Quebrou o vidro, quebrou o vidro. But again, nothing. They then do some type of ritual involving dropping a chain in a well, presumably to call up the spirit, and the ritual is successful. Horário é pro. Me. Odd. Deton. Nostrum. O que é isso aí? Pode jogar? Terminei, terminei. Oh, oh, oh! Shortly after, the spirit shows itself. Já deu certo. Nossa, eu tô doendo muito, meu irmão, velho. Is this the old Macubero? Whatever this spirit is, I'm pretty sure it's not friendly. A YouTuber named Shannon Griffin recorded this short scene as part of an amateur film he was working on. One of his friends, Rachel, goes into the alley and the scene ends. It seems simple enough, but look at the bottom left for a weird surprise. The swaying shadow is not supposed to be part of the shot. Later, when Shannon was editing the footage, he was terrified by the strange discovery because nobody was standing off camera there. It's not a tree in the wind because these plants in the foreground don't move at all, while this shadow figure sways wildly. The only explanation I have, assuming that they are telling the truth to begin with, is maybe some nosy neighbor was watching them from a window and casts their shadow on the sidewalk below. But the way the shadow moves is so odd that I don't think this is it at all, so maybe it was paranormal. In yet another CCTV video, a ghost possesses a woman at a store in China. In the video, you see a package fall on its own accord from the third shelf. It could have just been stuffed there, teetering on the edge, causing it to fall at the slightest breeze. Although it doesn't appear to be teetering, that's certainly a possibility. But what's strange is it appears to move for a moment before actually taking the leap, leading a skeptical onlooker to consider that it may also be something paranormal. What happens next will make you think the same thing. A female shopper, surprised by the sound of the package falling, turns to look, being considerate. She walks back, picks up the package, looks at it, and sets it back on the third shelf. The shopper drops the other package she's holding, as the possession seems to take complete control over her body. With one hand on the package, her head flings back and falls forward, back and forward, back and forward, as if in seizure. She manages to pry her hand from the packaging and turns her back towards it, but her body and mind are fully possessed. The demon takes control of her until another female shopper alerts staffers for help. They are seen gathered around her, trying to subdue her, but she won't be subdued. Her body seizes suddenly again, and the camera even seizes for a moment, as the three surrounding the woman are launched back by the demon's energy. We don't know what happened to the woman, whether the demon fled her body at this moment, or if it still possesses her today. Have you ever had a stalker? YouTuber Kev from Crypto NWO has, and his stalker just took it to the next level by sending him a thumb drive. There are some strange pics on it and some video files. Let's take a look. C 
security footage captures the stalker peering into the YouTuber's home. Kev is setting up a camera inside. A second piece of security footage captures the stalker approaching the house and ringing the doorbell. Dude is already gone. He uh, Look where he runs. I didn't check the way he ran, but I looked at the footage afterwards. So, knocked on my door. Knocking on my door right now. I, there's no, I, by the way, I haven't seen any videos or anything. Okay, he recorded my door, he ran off. He hears a knock at the door. Here, my door's gonna open, there, boom, I open my door. Nobody's at my door and I'm like, what the I, I'm tripping out right now, I'm actually thinking, is this, like, are these kids doing this? Or is this like, the entire stalker situation? And then he heads outside to check it out. I don't know why my camera didn't catch me walking out the front door. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm literally, I can't see. I'm looking down my street towards the left of my street. I'm looking to the right of my street now. I'm pulling out my phone. Kev is then seen looking for the perp down the street. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm tripping out right now. I'm looking down my street. I saw somebody walking, but they had their dog with them. And it was like a teenager, so I'm thinking maybe it's that person. But at the same time, I'm tripping the right now because this person cut. After Kev re-enters his home, a car is seen in the distance driving in the other direction. The cameras are glitching like crazy. Open the door. I close it. Cars driving this way. What is the stalker? A second video captures what appears to be the same guy doing this again. Another one here. But dude, coming up to my camera, there was a flashlight on his phone. I hope he's not recording a video. W run sprints this time. This time he didn't even hold back. Ran same place, same direction. Didn't even hold back. Kev heads outside again to look around. Two, one, now. I have a baseball bat in my hand. I'm tripping out. I'm actually tripping out. I'm trying to act tough here, but I'm actually shaking. I'm really, really scared. It's actually relatively cold this time of the year. Of course, he finds no one. What do you think this stalker is trying to achieve by this? Knocking on his door again and again. I think he is trying to build up Kevin's fear, a fear of the unknown, and it seems like he's succeeding. Imagine playing hide and seek with a mysterious cult. Published by Lego Papa TV in March of 2020, this scary video shows a cultish encounter at a house where lives were taken. Lego arrives at the house that he plans to explore on this fateful night. It looks 100% haunted. He tours the house, arriving at a bathroom in which he says the 71-year-old woman who lived here would take the lives of her victims. He says she buried them in her backyard. As he's about to head upstairs, he hears something, but he assumes it was just animals. Once he gets up there, though, he hears more noise. Hello? While using the spirit box on his phone to try and communicate with the passed away in the bathroom, he sees a flashlight beam hit the wall. When he turns around, he sees many beams of light, and he thinks it could be police, other urban explorers, or maybe something even more nefarious. So he rushes upstairs and hides in another bathroom. Shortly after, he sees flashlight beams on the wall and hears footsteps. They apparently don't see him. After waiting in the darkness for a time, he sneaks downstairs, and while in the basement, he hears more evidence that he's not alone in the house. Footsteps sound on the floor above. He gets out of there as quickly as possible and does manage to escape. When finally safely outside, he turns back to look at the house. They are looking for him, whoever they are. Lego writes, this is probably the scariest moment of my life. I have no doubt about that. Fear Hides Here, published to YouTube in July of 2021, this investigative team encountered something sinister. While investigating in broad daylight, the crew only just enters the creepy abandoned house when a scary loud racket is heard. <laughs> Pelo amor de Deus, nós nem chegamos aqui, o que foi isso? 
Something is thrown against the wall in another room and sounds like it breaks apart. In one room, the investigators break out an EMF sensor, which starts beeping dramatically when it's held up toward one part of the ceiling. One of the crew boosts another up to the crawl space in the ceiling to see what's triggering the device. It looks like the crawl space was being lived in at one point, as a pair of shoes and a book or pamphlet is up there amongst the suit and garbage. As they realize the book is a diary, banging is heard in the next room. Something is opening and closing the door. Tá cheio de nome, né? It looks like the hidden figure doesn't want that diary to be read. The cameraman checks outside, but there's nothing. A short while later, another bang is heard, and that's when the diary spontaneously combusts. Cameraman is holding the diary when a corner of the paper catches fire. He throws it to the ground in surprise. Oh, When he picks it back up, a glass breaks in the next room. Causing him to throw it down again. When they gain the courage to pick it up again, another bang is heard, although its source remains unseen. Tinha um Lúcio, te adoro por aqui. They enter another room, clearly afraid of what's going on around them and the entity that they've made angry. Later, they are simply standing in a room capturing video when a fire lights beneath one crew member's feet unbeknownst to him. Another runs towards him and pulls him away, and the fire goes out on its own. For the grand finale, they enter the main room, and one of the crew appears to see something in a gap in the roof. A scary shadow leaves the gap as something breaks, causing the crew to vacate the premises ASAP. Caraca, Faye. Mano, vamos, 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 what was in that diary? Something incriminating? We'll never know because the spirit doesn't want us to. A YouTuber named Gothboy Prince is playing with a Ouija board that refuses to cooperate with the camera. Apparently, the pointer moves on its own, but only when he's not recording. Hello? Knocking on the Ouija board isn't the only way he shows disrespect. He tries to badmouth the spirit into moving the pointer on camera for proof. I think you're a coward. That's what I think it is. I think you're nothing but a coward. Less than 10 seconds later, he gets a silent reply. At one point, Gothboy Prince hears a noise and looks up. You can see that he's sitting in bed with the Ouija board on his lap. There's absolutely no room for anyone to be controlling the pointer with a magnet from underneath, so that explanation is out. You can also see that he is alone and no one is in front of him pulling a string. As if all of this weren't already bizarre enough. You see this? 
The pointer moves too frequently and in too many different directions to be done with a string, which by the way would be clearly visible from this close of a distance away. Even paranormal skeptics can't explain how this pointer was able to move with no one nearby, but if you think you can, I would really like to hear the real reason. A girl and the person filming were innocently playing around outside, but they were not alone. Published to YouTube in May of 2019, nightmares abound after watching this video, which is gaining attention in the Spanish-speaking YouTube community. The clip shows a girl playing with a ball outside a yellow fenced-in building. She runs up to the fence, behind which a pair of swings are wrapped together in knots. After a moment, the girl points at something, or someone behind the camera person, who turns around to see what she's indicating. There is no one in the distance across the field, but there is someone right behind her. The ghoul of a girl appears semi-transparent as the camera shot falls. We can only imagine the camera person fled in fear from this thing she was not meant to see. Tag, you're it. Game over. You may be a skeptic, but if you had to choose a place with all the makings of a haunting, it would probably be a hospital. After all, hospitals are the setting in which many souls depart this earth and enter the afterlife, whatever that may be, but sometimes it seems they stay. Published to YouTube in February of 2020, this clip is part of a series of clips entitled The Haunted Hospital Case. The footage shows a hospital that appears to be empty. A trash can stands in the corner and its lid starts to flip repeatedly. The lid doesn't appear to be mechanical, so who or what is causing it to rotate? But it's not just the lid, watch beyond. A paranormal figure jogs past. The figure seems to be in the shape of a young girl, however she is entirely cast in shadow, apart from a small blip of white sneakers. Do you think this might be one of the aforementioned souls? If so, where is she running off to? Or what is she running from? Will fish soon walk on land? It looks like one's already there. Published to the oddly terrifying subreddit, Redditor Big Black Onyx writes the cryptic message, they are evolving. The mysterious video video shows a large fish on a slab of snowy ice jutting into the water. The oddly terrifying fish appears to be standing up on its fins, taking in great gulps of air. Many have reacted to the walking fish, which has become the subject of numerous memes, originally appearing in iFunny. Posted by user Saika Gamberger in December of 2019, the video has been viewed, liked, and tweeted millions of times, and that's perhaps due to its unnerving nature. Redditor Sci-Fi Ship Controller remarks, not sure what is more unsettling, that it stands or that it breathes. This intriguing footage was captured on a dash cam at around 7 p.m. Watch closely. As the car turns around, keep your eye on the front of the white van up ahead. Do you see that dark figure move behind it? Now watch the second floor stairway window as the driver pulls forward. Something is clearly peeking out at him. The shadow figure disappears as the car reverses, and you don't see it again. The strangest part was that during this camera freeze in the beginning, the YouTuber says he caught a glimpse of the shadow speed toward the stairway. This is actually what led him to check his camera footage. Is the shadow figure in both spots the same lurking entity? I think it just might be. And this shadow seems to move at the speed of light. A YouTuber named Dan Logan Iffy shot this Disneyland footage almost 10 years ago, and it still remains a paranormal point of contention even today. Dan's filming the end of a typical Disney fireworks show when he sees something strange and zooms in.
a gray specter appears to be admiring the show from atop his perch on the Walt Disney Castle. It watches the final barrage of fireworks for a bit longer and then silently disappears from sight. Some people think that this was just a fireworks technician wearing dark clothing while others are convinced that this is a phantom and possibly even the ghost of Walt Disney himself. I'm not sure what it was, but I do agree that the timing is very eerie. I mean, the ghost or whatever it was does happen to show up right before the final high note and then disappear shortly afterwards, so that's definitely odd. Let me know what you think it was and if you think the timing was just a coincidence. The Martinez twins are both excited about moving into a new house with an old friend. They are arguing over which rooms belong to who when one of them notices a locked door leading to an unexplored part of the house. None of them have a key, so they pick the lock and step into a plain room with an empty chair. The old chair gives off a creepy vibe. It must have belonged to one of the previous owners. They are talking about what to do with it when suddenly they notice an attic entrance that needs to be checked out. They forget about the chair for now and climb a wooden ladder into a darkened attic. Even though the insulation is making them cough and one false step could send them falling through the ceiling, the group is determined to get to the other side and see what they can find. A small box is waiting for them at the end of their crawl space, but they don't open it up right away, choosing to look at a pile of old magazines from the 1920s instead. When they turn their attention back to the box, they find this old mysterious broken thing inside. There's like a toy, bro. It works from here. Wait, wait, wait. The others try to stop him, but it's too late. An eerie song fills the empty, dark attic space, perhaps for the first time in many years. That's creepy. Bro, you want to hold him? Oh, wow, that's creepy. There's an old Bible even farther back in the attic, but when the music box starts playing a few more notes all by itself, they decide they've seen enough and leave quick. I stop it. All of these things seem like the perfect indications of a classic haunting that I certainly would want nothing to do with, but I'm curious what you think. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Salo Mac and originally published to YouTube by Bike Jin in March of 2020, this paranormal investigator may have just crossed paths with something very nefarious. While exploring an abandoned house, the investigator spies this creepy witchy woman in the hallway. Flames suddenly spark, running down the length of the hallway and flying up into the air in the adjacent room. It then falls in a giant blaze to the floor, burning in a ball on the carpet. For a time, the investigator watches the flames burn. It burns low, but then it bursts again, while the door behind it swings closed and then opens repeatedly. Is this a Jin's doing? Or maybe a witch's? Either way, get the heck out of there. Neutralizer Ghost is the name of a paranormal investigation channel in Indonesia that has some really creepy videos. Beyond the outskirts of town lies a ghost colony, and sometimes a paranormal entity or two will wander into some local houses to haunt. <laughs> This one looks small and frail, bound tightly in burial garbs. It has sentience and follows the investigator's movements with its head. He talks to it for a little bit and seems to ask questions in the hopes that it will answer. <laughs> The mysterious figure never offers an explanation. They never seem to. He attempts to rip off its face covering and the spirit quickly disappears. He checks all around the area and no longer sees or senses it's near. The paranormal exploration continues for a while until he's convinced the town is clear. Maybe next time he'll get a hold of its robes and finally reveal the spirit figure's true face. This video was submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Gobs of Goblins. The Redditor wrote, kept hearing a weird inconsistent tapping noise coming from the ceiling. 
The attic is directly above my room. Caught one of the times it happened on video. Check the attic and nothing's there. Still kind of freaks me out. I can certainly hear what the Redditor is talking about. Check it out. I know the Redditor checked the attic, but I'm thinking something has to be hiding up there. Not everyone is convinced, though. Gohan0912 wrote in the comments that they think it's squirrels or birds. So what do you think? Is there a stranger secretly living in this house? Or is the answer really as simple as Gohan thinks it is? Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.